Okay, so what I'd like to do is just demo the Capture the Flag scoreboard and how it works. Basically the concept is there's a compromised server and there's four groups of people that are attacking the server. Each group will have their own encrypted token that they have to drop within a certain folder on that server. So in this example, uh, there's a compromised server 2000 and there is multiple teams that are currently working on it. Um, I'm part of the red team and I've got a certain file called a root file which is just an encrypted token that I have. Um, I'm currently waiting for someone else to compromise the server. Um, I already have a back door open. I see the blue team currently um, dropped their token into the folder. So the fact that the blue team um, hits points on the scoreboard, they get 50 points for dropping a token. So if I were to go on and delete the blue team's token and drop my token, I would score 50 points for the red team. Every 10 seconds the team holds their position, they get an additional point. Um, I do already have access to the server, and if I open up that server, I see that there is a root folder and if I go in right there is the blue team's token so they've got a token just like I have um, except for the contents inside that token is going to be a little bit different I'm just going to delete their token now I could have overwritten it but I, I just want to show when I delete their token um, it goes back to no one has current control now I can drop my token on and if I dropped my token into that folder uh, it would show that the red team has control. I would get 50 points. Now there is an additional advantage by waiting. If I wait an entire five minutes I will get a bonus of 700 points. So it would give me a total of 750 points. Um, I would get that advantage um, as long as I was not the last person to take the 700 point advantage. So for example, if I drop my token and I get that 750 points, I would not be able to delete my token, wait five minutes, and redrop it for another um, 750 points. So someone else would have to take control, then I would have to wait another five minutes to take uh, the 700 point advantage again. So instead of dropping it, I'm going to choose to wait the five minutes. Now, the blue team could detect the fact that that I've that they lost control. I'm sure at this point the blue team realizes they are no longer in control. Um, they can go back in, okay, and they did. They went back in, and now their points are going to continue to go up. Now, they didn't get another um, 50 points because I never dropped my token. So I'm going to go in there, and I'm just going to delete their token out. Um, and I'm going to drop my token in. And at this point, I'm going to want to... Um, now, you have to hold the token for about 10 seconds to, to make it, you know, seal. So it did go. Um, I've got control at this point. I'm going to go in there and um, tighten down the server so that they can't get back in. Um, actually, I'm going to let them get back in because they obviously have a path in. I want them to get back on the scoreboard, and then I'm going to tighten up their control. Um, so I want to make sure they can't get back in. Okay, they deleted my token, so they're going to drop their token. Okay, so they got the ad advantage of the 50 points, and now it's going to continue going. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lock down that server and I'm going to take away their control. So on my other screen I just tightened them down and I'm going to just kill them. Okay, so no one has control at this point. And I don't believe they're going to be able to get back in. I'm going to wait five minutes um, when I come back, I'm going to 
cut this section out so that way you don't have to sit here for five minutes. You'll be able to see the 700 point advantage at that point. So I'll see you in about five minutes. Okay, I see that the 700 points now became available uh, because I waited that five minutes. And obviously the blue team um, was not able to drop a token. If they dropped the token, that would have messed up my bonus. At this point, I'm just going to drop my red token in here. And I'm going to jump from 52 to 802. So I just got that 800 or the 700 point advantage uh, just because I waited. So it's just uh, an additional um, wrinkle in the game so that way if you want to bump your points ahead, um, if you can keep the other team from getting control and you hold them away for a full five minutes, it will give you a 700 point bump. The rules for the game are pretty simple. Um, anything goes. Um, the scoreboard is on a different computer than the one being attacked. So the scoreboard is off limits. Anybody hacking the scoreboard uh, gets disqualified. And there is a specific account running on the machine called scoreboard. The scoreboard password cannot be changed, otherwise can't keep score. Um, so that's the real only um, rule that needs to be followed is uh, the scoreboard needs to have access to the root folder just to monitor and see if any points are getting created. The source code is also available um, in GitHub under Joseph Wetzel. Uh, you can get more information at joewetzel.com. Hope you enjoyed the video.